So it's pretty hard to describe the intensity of these work capacity intervals. Uh, but here at the end of 90 seconds, I want these guys pretty close to, you know, being right about there. You can see Ty there on the left starting to go. Ty on the left and Rob on the right, both the veterans of our program in here. So they've been to these before, but I don't think anybody trains rock climbing like we do, especially the intensity. Um, I've got them, we've got three uh, levels of holds on our keg boards. A, B, and C. A are the big jugs, B and C are uh, smaller holds. And uh, for this interval, I've restricted these guys to uh, B and C holds, but they can shake. We've got another 15 seconds. I don't really care how much they move around. All you gotta do is stay on the board. Nice, fellas, nice. They're almost done. Nice job, good, excellent. Good. And then during the rest, I just have to do some easy step ups, keep them moving. Part of what we're training is not only the ability to stay on the board, but the ability to recover fast when they get some rest. Okay, so these guys are uh, all finishing their fifth round of the seven uh, minutes 60 60 uh, interval here. It's all uh, individually skilled, the athlete. We did an assessment. Ty and Carson there are doing uh, 40 foot shuttles. And uh, Rob has a hip replacement, so I make him row instead of running. Come on now, fellas, you gotta push, let's go. Down back, let's go, finish it. Finish, 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 let's go. These are pretty hard, it's 50% uh, faster than their assessment pace. They're on number five, they gotta do seven. So we're doing some work capacity work here, where I'm really doing it, just giving them a break between their fingers. Their uh, forearms are break from work on a wall, but also just doing some great general conditioning and uh, for climbers cutting some weight. Two more. <laughs> 